Hey everyone, it's kind of late at night for me right now, but I wanted to share with you a thought I had about the sacred coins. So I just watched a video by Sage Master and he was talking about it. And I real a long time ago when they were announced, I wanted to show my theory about it, but I couldn't record, but now I can. So one thing I want you guys to look at, I want you guys to think, look at is the inventory, all right? I'm not gonna say the same thing that you probably heard that the sacred coins, you know, they are probably gonna level up the sacred seals, which they might considering, um, and by the way, if you're unfamiliar um, with what the sacred seals are, uh, who has one? Yeah, Ike. Uh, they're a fourth skill you can add to a character, um, but they're usually at level one and you have to do something special to get them. Now, um, one thing when considering what the sacred coins do is the currency, right? Every single thing in this game, it will never be useless. And what I mean by that is if you use the coins to level up sacred seals, there is only a certain amount of sacred seals in the, in the game, right? So eventually, you'll run out of coins to level up. I mean, you'll run out of seals to level up and the coins will be utterly useless. That's not the case for anything else in here. These can be used to level up characters or to advance characters to five stars. You will always have, there will always be new characters coming in. You'll, you'll never have too many of these um, or you'll never not have a use for these um, because getting the feathers, which are also constantly having use to use these is a daunting task. Then you also have the stamina potion, which you always have stamina. A dueling crest, you'll always have arena battles to do. And light's blessing, which you can use at any time, and then your experience. So, but the sacred coins, there's only, I mean, you could say that the sacred coins, the expense of them could be um, as drastic. But I'm gonna go a different route um, because I also heard a, uh, an idea that, you know, making the sacred seals that powerful what makes them unit very, very OP, especially when you consider like, for example, on Xander, I have distance defense one. If he has distance defense three, in addition to the other stuff he has, that, that would make him pretty powerful. I would like that, but I think they will also have to change the entire meta of the game. Um, and make some quests more powerful if so many units now have sacred seals. Um, but on to my idea, all right? Um, whoops, not that, not that either. All right, so you see how we have um, the spears, all right? I was thinking, what is a good thing that is always in demand that you could always use the coins for? for? Initially, what I would have liked to have done is to have um, you click on a spear, like this red spear, and you could see what unit you were getting. But obviously that would cost them too much money because you wouldn't summon if you would get a unit that you wanted, or, or you would gonna get a unit that you didn't want. Then I also thought about what happens if you, um, like had, like you take five of the coins and you just refresh the, um, the, uh, I guess crystals you refresh the crystals so if there's you're trying to summon for a green and clearly there's no green here you could refresh the orb for five coins and get like a new option to summon from that would always be in demand because you're always gonna summon and then there's another thing which I think I like a lot better or maybe maybe not I'll leave it up to you guys where you the same amount five coins I say five coins because if you look at the amount of coins that you get, like let's go to the arena assault, which is where you actually get them. Oh, not my, not that. Um, the rewards. So you get 11, all right? They seem to be about the same worth as orbs because if we go to the um, arena, and we go to rewards here, you get three to four, right? And they're 
I would say orbs are a little bit more expensive. Maybe they're two to three times more expensive than orb, or less expensive as orbs. But they're still, if you look at, like, look at all the other things I have. Like, oh, well, I mean, the light's blessing, it, it, the light's blessing is kind of different, but for everything else, I have way more, especially, I just used 20,000 feathers uh, on another unit. I may, I think I'll say that in a different video, but yeah, the coins are definitely uh, the least, or the most valuable after the orbs. So you would have to want them to have some type of value. Uh, so I'm, I'm just saying five, because I think that's a good ballpark, um, because people always, or maybe 10, maybe 10, I don't know, it's just a guess, but five orbs. And you, for example, you click on the red spear and it would tell you if you get a sword unit, a mage unit, or a dragon unit. That way, because I was seeing some other things about how an interview was done and that color units were a problem. You know, like that's, that's the thing with, um, you know, I wanna, the person I'm gonna try to get right now is Olivia. She's a gray unit though. And if you look at the gray units, like m most of them are healers, you know, like you, you get, you get healers and healers, you know, I, I've gotten rid of a lot of my healers, but healers, once you have one, you know, you don't really need another one. Jenny's different because Jenny has the unique skill that she does. And there was an, um, also Lynn had a different skill, but that was bridal Lynn and you can't get her anymore. So healers are kind of a thing. So if you're, but if you go to summon, right? And you're trying to get a special unit, like Olivia, for example, and you know, she's a dagger unit. If you could click on a uh, or and see that it had a staff, you would go, oh, I don't want to, I don't want to go for that one. That is going to be a staff. You could choose another unit. I think that would be a nice idea for uh, the orbs. That way, you, I mean, there's still, I don't think that's going to be, like obviously the orbs have to do something at advantageous um and maybe that's too much but that's personally what i would like to do something that enhance the summoning experience because i mean you guys can see oscar i actually that's another unit i got uh now to be fair uh see that this is the good part i, I oscar I, I got oscar while trying to get another lance unit so this system wouldn't have told me if it was oscar or the other person it would just help me know if I was trying, if help me better try to get a unit on the banner, you know? So, and yeah, so that's my idea. Um, well, at least my unique idea. Um, I do think, oops, I don't know what that did. Uh, I do think uh, that there is some, I, there is some logic to the sacred seals argument. Um, and, I also heard the IVs thing, but I feel like that one is too much. If you could just change all the IVs that you wanted, you wouldn't have a need because like some people are literally summoning for the same characters strictly so they can get more IVs. Think about like if you're trying to get another Azura and there's a banner, you might have to summon like 10 times before you get her. Those coins would save you 10 summons. I, I, I feel like that's too much, but those are my thoughts. What are yours? Please post them down in the comments below and I will see you all next time.